Well, Professor Garibaldi, what are we going to learn today? Well, we're going to try something uh, a little challenging, but we'll try and keep things simple. Uh, we're going to learn the basics of electrical circuits uh, in an abbreviated uh, session. So let's hope uh, we can get you to understand the basics and apply them as it's relevant in the context of uh, embedded systems. Let's look at the foundations that, uh, that govern electrical circuits. Electric circuits are made up of basic elements, um, what we call as passive elements and active elements. But before we get to those elements, we want to define some terms. So the first term that I'm going to look at is, um, is current. Current is the flow of charge and when we say charge we're looking at a positive or negative charge in our case we're going to look at electrons as a unit of charge so the unit for units for current are uh, because it's a flow of electrons we're looking we're going to look at it as coulombs per second in other words it's the rate of flow of charge and charge the units for charge is coulombs so it's coulombs per second so rather than say coulombs per second uh, we use a, a term called amperes to represent current so the idea then is current flows uh, current is the flow of electrons or the flow of charge now and the, and the units for current are amperes Current has a direction, as we will see, and so when we talk about current, we're always talking about the flow of current, but it makes sense to talk about the direction in which current flows. So through a conductor, conductor we say that current flows in some direction. So the second term we're going to look at is voltage voltage is is what we call as electromotive force electromotive force or sometimes called potential difference and the idea of voltage is is always we talk of voltage as a difference in potential between two points. So when I say, for example, put points A and B, we refer to the voltage as VAB as the potential difference between points A and B. Now, the, the definition of voltage is it's the amount of energy. So amount of energy needed to move one unit of charge, in this case a unit of charge is a coulomb, from A to B, some from one point to another point. So that is the voltage. So voltage then it has the units of joules, which is the unit for energy, per coulomb. Again, we have a short for this. We simply call these volts. So the units for current are amperes and the unit for voltage is volts. So Ohm's law gives us a relationship between voltage and current, the two, two terms that we just introduced. So what Ohm's law says is, the, is that the current that flows through a conductor and here I'm going to represent this conductor like this. The current that flows through a conductor from its positive side to a negative side, we call this AB, which are positive and negative. So VAB is a voltage across these two points. And it's saying that the current and the voltage are related by a rule that says V equals I times R, where R is the resistance of the conductor. 
So we can write it in various ways. And so, for example, I can say R equals V by I, or I can say I equals V over R. All these are different forms of Ohm's law, where R is given, R is the resistance, and the unit for resistance are ohms. So we have we have uh, Ohm's law, which is giving us uh, the relationship between these two. But what we also say is that when when current flows, we say we we're, we're talking about um, uh, the flow uh, of current, and we we use we say the power dissipated, if you will. Uh, across this uh, through this resistance is given by the voltage times V times I and the units for power are watts um, and the interesting thing is uh, that we can actually derive de derive this uh, is as as being joules per second and this is simply because the volt the unit for voltage is uh, is joules per coulomb and the units for current are coulombs per second so the units for power is joules per second which is also called watts